So today I am going to be planting tulip bulbs. Dogs are finding this very boring, very boring. So, but I have all my garden assistants here. So one of the main ones I absolutely love and I've indulged in buying some bulbs through a friend, via a friend of mine. She has a special discount. And the kind that I absolutely love is called King's Blood. So I'm gonna be filling these uh, tulip, uh, these tulips, what are those things called? They're called pots. I'm filling those pots. Oh, I've got a cat climbing up me. Um, I'm filling these pots uh, with King's Blood. And there's um, other tulips in those. These Bidens, I'm gonna have to put the Bidens in the vine house because they're not gonna survive the winter. But I'm also gonna be planting the King's Blood over here as well. So it's going to be, see, there's also tulips planted in these that I bought at a garden center. The thing is that psychologically, for my mental health, seeing tulips in the spring is very good for my brain. There's tulips in here as well. And, you know, I treat gardening uh, as part and parcel of my mental health as a farmer, as a human being, because I'm outdoors all the time. It's, it's lovely, but the winter can get dreary and drab. I do have all these people to distract me and entertain me. But I, it's like a pick-me-up, and that's why I am such a tulip fanatic. And um, all my potted bulbs get planted out during the summer months and hopefully will naturalize. Some of them will, not all of them. But that's the whole point, and it'll make this area just gorgeous with all the tulips. I'm also putting pot pots around the cottage and the office door. So yeah, this is all part of helping, helping myself and my own uh, mental health, as it were, in the spring months in the late winter, early spring months, when everything can be muddy and dreary, even though there is the wonderfulness of lambing. So I fill the bottoms with old compost. Well, the bottoms actually have crock pots to cover the hole to keep, the, uh, keep them well drained. Then they're placed on top of those things. So I'm gonna move that to go on top of there. And then I will plant my beautiful red tulips, King's Blood. There are other varieties, but I'm particularly fond of King's Blood because it is such a red, red tulip. I know, what do you want? Everybody's saying, stop talking and videoing and play with us. <laughs> oh, Lordy. So there I've planted this pot and this pot. My assistant planter is here, aren't you? He's being a very good assistant planter. He's been wandering all over my, oh, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> oh, when I'm down on dog level, everybody needs to get in touch and have a conversation. Anyway, I'm gonna get fresh potting soil that I will pour all over the top of these and dig out a little bit of a weed. There we go. So this will be loverly come spring. Yay! Well, here we go. They're planted up with a hookera and some pansies. So they'll look really nice through the winter before the tulips come. When the tulips arrive, they'll rise up through the pansies and around the hookera. And they'll look real pretty. I am a bit of a mess here. Clean it up by dropping it down in there. That's my little rhubarb bed. But the rhubarb uh, died 
So I've got to redo that. My alarm went off, and so it stopped the video automatically. So these are done, and that's done. Still have to do a bit of cleaning up. Still have to do that one. All the dahlias are gone, chopped down, and they're gonna sleep the winter. Isn't that right? But we've gotta live through the winter. So looking after my mental health is these beautiful pansies and then the tulips. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? You're both so sweet. Yeah, you're so excited. Java's finally figured out how to get up on this wall. He gets up on the shallow end. <laughs> oh, let's see what happens. Uh, oh, he did jump down. Well done. <laughs> Scary pup. Anyway, it's going to look beautiful in the spring. I've got to still plant that up with my king's blood and pansies. But um, everything is coming up roses. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> These poor geraniums, I forgot to take them in. I don't think they're going to make it. I could pull them out and bring them in. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow, weather permitting. But it's beginning to look lovely. I've got this pot area. Is uh, There's another couple coming in. That are going to be tulipy. Those are the only two tulipy ones. That one obviously isn't a tulip. And that is this beautiful stuff. Purple clover type stuff. Anyway, yeah. This has been a busy day. Busy, busy day. And these two are... She loves her pears eating her pears. Inca wants a bit of her pear. <laughs> My dogs are such fruit eaters, it's so funny. <laughs> the siblings from two different daddies, three years apart. Maya is 2020, and Java is this year. Oh, while she's gone, Inga's found the chance. Oh, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, what do you want? There we go. The races occur. <laughs> Poor bear. He gets overwhelmed by small dogs. <laughs> Taken down by a pack of small dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor bear. Bears, this just not fair. It's not fair for bear. No. Yeah, you want to go running around and these little monsters all gang up on you. Monsters, all of you. Monsters. Uh-uh. Ah, uh, a 
left-handed throw, not very good. Okay, I've got to go and do evening rounds. Isn't that right? Come on. <laughs> anyway, that's going to look lovely during the winter of the patio. And then in the spring with the tulips. Beautiful. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go.